bless you. I pray that you are doing well today. I just have a brief message uh, that I wanted to share with you. The Lord gave me a dream in the night that uh, I was, everything had changed. All the land uh, formations, uh, I was driving on these roads that used to be straight and all of a sudden now they would go way high and way down and uh, going around corners and everything. <clears throat> And it was like the Lord would give me a heads up and I was driving my car and I would look down and I would say, look how far that goes down. It's impossible to drive over there. And yet the Lord would say, it's okay. And so I would accelerate the car. The Lord, Lord told me just accelerate the car. And the Lord, the Lord just lifted the car up and it literally like flew right over the big gap in the road, the fissure. And so... Um, I felt this was uh, very symbolic that we as a body are going to be facing many, many impossible situations. To me, this was a message to us that we will be facing things that we never faced before and that are going to seem impossible in the natural. This is not the first kind of these dreams that I've had, but yet God shares these dreams so that he lets us know sort of like what's coming in the near future. And so I believe this is not only where we are in our location, but that this is a message of hope that we will soar above all of our difficulties. I just did a, a quick search and found that the earth is cracking with large earth fissure uh, that are opening up all around the world. I'll leave a link for that. There's way too many to read. I did happen to see one that's listed on this list uh, and it was unbelievable how the road just went straight up and straight down and and the, the road was practically gone and this was a huge road before that was very uh, sure, you know, that it was not going to be moving. Um, that is listed on the watchers watching the er world evolve and transform. <clears throat> I wanted to focus also to share with you to tie this in together. I believe the Lord allowed me to see this last night as well. Marlena Van Hose sang how great thou art President Trump inaugural interfaith prayer service. And this was a very moving video of a young girl. I believe she was blind because she had the glasses on, so you assume. And she had the most beautiful voice, so pure, so sincere, and amazing to think of here she is blind, but she sings, how great thou art. That just about took the cake, you know. We, many of us, we uh, are we want to say, well, I don't have this. I could only do this if I had that, you know. And and we're going to find uh, a lot of needs that we think we need. But God wants us to keep our eyes focused on Him and to realize all we need is the Lord, and to flip our attitude from the mindset of the natural into the mindset of the supernatural. <clears throat> it was impossible in the dream to be flying. In fact, instead of most people would slow down, but the Lord told me to speed up when I came to these fissures in the road, in the dream. And it was raining. It was, it was unbelievable. And so you see, this to me is a message also that things that in the natural you would normally slow down, God says, speed up. And so that there is a message for each of us, howsoever that applies. And I wanted to uh, read just a scripture that the Lord put on my heart. <clears throat> Second Corinthians 12.9 and he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, 
most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. People think of power in only one way a lot of times, but they don't see that even in infirmities, you can have the power of the Holy Spirit. For this is when he shows his power. You know, right before they stoned Stephen, Stephen looked up, God opened up the heavens, and he said, I see Jesus, I see the Father up in the heavens. He saw this. And many of us are going to be facing things this year in 2017 that we never thought we would face. We're seeing people die that we never thought would die, and we will see more. <clears throat> We're going to see some of us will lose jobs. Some of us will gain new jobs. Life will continue in many peculiar ways. And I truly believe that the catching away of the Lord is very, very near. But we must remember, if this little girl that is blind can sing, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. We must remember we serve a big God. He's not a God that's lacking. He's not shorthanded. He can totally take care of everything you're facing. He can protect you when there are bullets flying in your neighborhood. He will protect you and let you know. A sister in Florida said, Susan, I believe it was your prayers. And I'm not lifting myself up, but you see our prayers together keep us whole as we pray for one for another <laughs> because there was a terrible hurricane happening in Florida at this time so we stay together and we listen to the Lord and he is going to do miraculous things with us this year in the midst of when the earth is literally pulling apart at the seams, but God is saying to us, I know all about it. I know all about it. And I am with you and I will lift your car up through all of this. <coughs> and I will keep you in the midst of everything, everything, everything. People wonder why do people get sick. I had a dear brother call me just yesterday and he said, the doctors have given me a report and he said, it's not a good one. And he shared it with me and he said, but you know, the doctors are not the final report. They mean well, but there is one above them that knows what will happen. And I said, <coughs> excuse me, I asked him, whose report will you believe and what do you want me to agree with you for? And he said, I want to go in the rapture. That's my first choice. And I said, then that's it. We will believe for that. We will believe for that in the name of Jesus. So what are you wanting? The Lord to help you with this day. What are you wanting to believe him for this day? Are you facing impossibilities? There's no way in the natural you could achieve this or pass over that or live through this. What God says to you I am the God of the impossibilities because with me, nothing is impossible. All things are possible to them that believe. So in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for this word. We ask you to be with us 
and we know that you are. We ask you, Father, that you would bring in our loved ones. Speak to them, Lord, for time is surely short. We are at the door, at the door, at the door of your coming back. In the name of Jesus, use us and keep us well so that we can be witnesses for you. Continue to send us dreams, visions, and use us for your glory. And we give you all the praise, all the glory. In Jesus' name, I love you. Have a blessed day in the Lord. I sit here and stare in your eyes. I can't find words that describe. I wonder, do you feel it too? Emotions run deep, yet so true. Thank you.